Greetings, greetings, greetings once again, saints and friends. I want to thank you once again for tuning in. Let's get right down to it and turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 2. Starting with verse 1, reading down unto verse number 2. Once again, greetings, greetings, my friends. Let's get right down to it and turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 2. I'll give you a moment to turn to it if you would be so kind. I just want to thank God for today. This is a wonderful day that he has made. So let us rejoice in this day. If you have life in your body if you have breath in your body consider yourself to be blessed God has given you all of the abilities that you need to accomplish the work that he has for you okay let's get down to the meat of this we are in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 2 and I will read and I'm just asking that you listen verse 1 and you did he make alive when ye were dead through your trespasses and sins verse number 2 wherein ye once walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the powers of the air of the spirit that now worketh in the sons of disobedience if I had to give a title to my message today it would be simple and I would title it take control of your life once again if I had to give a message to the title of this message today I would title it take control of your life brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen saints and friends it is very important that you take control of your life and you have to take control primarily by what comes out of your mouth you have to watch what you say and you have to know what to say and when to say it too so take control of what comes out of your mouth okay take control of your tongue you also need to take control of your attitude you have the power invest it inside of you to to shape and form your own attitude okay because your attitude is the process of how we think so you have the power to have a good attitude or to have a bad attitude it is your decision it is your choice so you have to take control of your attitude and constantly speak positive things over your attitude okay next you need to control your flesh this will be very challenging for you but you have to take control over your own flesh you have to take control of your emotions okay very important if you want to live a successful Christian lifestyle taking control of your flesh so you have to tell yourself and you have to program your mind and your attitude and say that I will take control of my flesh you have to stop drinking alcohol you have to stop smoking tobacco you have to put away with your cigarettes you have to stop cussing you have to take control of your flesh and your tongue 
and your attitude and your thinking pattern next you have to get some discipline in your life you need to be disciplined even if it's something as simple as saying I will discipline myself to wake up early in the morning you have to discipline yourself to wake up early in the morning so you want to practice that you want to discipline yourself to start reading more because nothing makes self improvements in your life more than reading does so you have to discipline yourself to read next you have to get back into school because school exercises your mind you always want your mind to be in good shape so you have to pray that God keeps you in your right mind so get back into school because going back to school is always the right thing to do exercise your mind through reading next you have to learn how to become more political okay don't be afraid to find out who's the governor who's the congressman who's your senator who's the mayor become more political because being more political is where your connections are okay become more political and so now in order to become more political now you have to be able to do good research you have to increase your researching skills oh I'm talking I know you're listening remember this title is called taking control of your life so learn how to do good research and then after you learn how to do good research you have to take advantage of every opportunity you may be looking for a job you may be unemployed at this time but if you do good research and if you become more political and if you read and exercise your mind and if you mix that in with disciplining yourself and having a good attitude you can take advantage of opportunities that are presented to you next you have to know how to live a life full of peacefulness stop acting so crazy all the time okay stop having a bad attitude because your attitude is done by choice you choose to be in a bad attitude or you choose to to to, to have a bad mood okay so learn how to live peace or learn how to live with peace in your life okay and change next you just simply need to change if you want to see improvements in your life you have to change so don't be don't be afraid to make the change now you need to stop talking without putting forth any actions you need to have a destination set for yourself but you don't get to your destination by only talking you have to put forth some effort and you have to make actions in order to get to your destination I was doing a little reading just this past week and I was reading about purpose and it was in the reading was instructing me on how to get into purpose and I came across something and I read it said don't wait for it to happen make it happen okay so you, in order to make it happen you have to put forth effort okay amen praise God next you need to be accomplished and you need to have credentials behind your name so you need a degree and I don't care how much money you have I respect the fact that you earn quite a bit of money and I respect the fact that you may own own property I have the utmost respect for that but still 
just my opinion and I am entitled to my own opinion you need a degree behind your name whether it's an associates a bachelor's a master's a doctor's a law degree a juris doctor degree you need some type of degree behind your name it's just good to have okay that's just my opinion next you need to start praying more okay praying is power so you need to devote time that you have set aside out of your day just to pray okay amen you need to take advantage of the internet the internet is very powerful and if you would just go online and google jobs in my area thousands of jobs will pop up you need to take advantage of the internet okay next in order to take control of your life you need to start dressing better because we need favor with man also I don't want to be over spiritual and say we only need favor with God but we also need favor with man so one of the best ways to increase your favor with man is you need to start dressing nice and you also need to start smelling nice don't be afraid to buy some expensive cologne or if you're a female buy some expensive perfume so when you walk past somebody they say oh she smells nice or oh he smells nice so dress nice and smell nice okay these are just some strategies these are just some techniques this is just a little bit of information that you could use okay that you can apply to your life that will cause great self improvements okay now remember that's coming from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 2 so I hope that you would apply these techniques and if you do you will see that your life will make a drastic turn around thank you so much for listening to me uh, my name is minister Macon and God bless you until next time thank you